Hello YouTube and welcome to another Sublime Text tutorial. So today we are going to see a very interesting feature called multiple cursors in Sublime Text. So are you ready? Let's get started. So let's say for example we have a file as you can see here and let's say we want to change every occurrence of the word for example here cacti so I can do that manually but it will take a lot of time I can also do that via the find menu so for example if I want to change every occurrence of this word cacti here I can just select it as you can see here then go to the menu find then replace so new dialog box appears at the bottom of sublime text so here in the find what text box i have cacti my keyword that i want to change and let's for example replace it with the word windows so i can just hit the button replace all as you can see now every occurrence have been changed but there is a more interesting way to do to do it in sublime text i will show you how so all you have to do is to place your cursor in the word that you want to change for example here i want to change the word cacti so i place my cur cursor on it as you can see then i hit uh, the key Control plus T. As you can see now, the first occurrence of the word is selected. So I can change it, for example. So if I tap Windows, only the first occurrence has been changed. But if I want to change, for example, let's say three occurrence, all I have to do is to press once again Control plus T so control plus d for selecting the second occurrence and once again control plus d for selecting the third occurrence so now i can change the third occurrence just in once so if i type windows as you can see now the three occurrence of the word cacti have been changed okay so let's say I want to change now every occurrence. So it's very easy to do it in Sublime Text. All I have to do is to hit the Alt key plus the F3. And now every occurrence of this word have been selected. And now I can just type the word that I want. Windows. As you can see now, every occurrence of the word cacti have been changed. So this is a very interesting and very powerful method that you can use using sublime text called multiple cultures. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.